In this film clip, we're going to learn about the major pieces that make up a central air conditioning system. We're going to learn the names of the coils that absorb heat and the names of the coils that reject heat. We're going to give you a basic overview of the major pieces, not the major components. At the end of this film clip, you should learn which coil absorbs heat into the system. And then you're also going to learn which coil rejects heat to the outdoor air. We'll tell you what types of blowers and fans move the air so that heat can be transferred. Go ahead and watch the film clip called Basic Split Systems. Let's take a look at the component pieces that make up a typical split system air conditioning unit. A split system air conditioning system is split meaning it has an indoor heat absorbing system and an outdoor heat rejection system. Let's start with the indoor heat absorption system. The indoor system has a special coil called an evaporator coil. The evaporator coil absorbs heat. Heat is pushed through the coil by an indoor fan. The indoor fan will be found in either a gas furnace or an electric heat air handler. The system absorbs heat in the evaporator coil and it transfers heat by the connection of a copper line set with two special lines called a suction line and a liquid line. Those lines are brazed to the evaporator coil and they then carry the refrigerant to the outdoor unit called a condensing unit. The condensing unit has a special coil that rejects heat to the outdoor air. That coil is called a condenser coil. There is a special fan in the condensing unit called a condenser fan assembly. The condenser fan assembly blows cooler outdoor air across the heat laden refrigerant in our condenser coil. There is also a special pump in the condensing unit called a compressor. The purpose of the compressor is to compress the refrigerant to a very high pressure and high temperature. We're going to learn more about how these components work in the coming videos. Let's review the key topics we just learned in our film. We learned that split system air conditioners consist of an outdoor unit and an indoor unit. The indoor unit absorbs heat. It has a special coil called an evaporator coil. The evaporator coil is the heat absorber. There is a fan that blows air across the evaporator coil. We learned that the evaporator coil is connected to an outdoor unit called a condensing unit. The outdoor unit or condensing unit has a special coil called a condenser coil which rejects heat to the cooler outdoor air. The outdoor condensing unit has a special fan called a condenser fan that moves outdoor air across the hot condenser coil. The outdoor condensing unit also consists of a pump called a compressor. The outdoor unit and indoor unit are connected by refrigerant tubing. Heat is carried from the indoor coil to the outdoor coil in a special line called the suction line. The refrigerant is returned to the indoor coil in a special line called a liquid line. Both the liquid line and suction line make up an assembly commonly called a line set.